Hello traders, Adam Hansen here for ValorTrader.com and today I just want to take this opportunity to introduce you to our Forex Strategy Builder EA Studio. Now this uh, particular tool is available uh, through our website ValorTrader.com via the home page or you can also access uh, the EA Studio via EA Builder tab at the top of the page. Now what it is is essentially a um, a program where you can build your own expert advisors for uh, MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. Now if you've been um, perhaps employing the services of a programmer to code up your own expert advisors or indeed if you are a programmer yourself then you may uh, find this tool useful for designing your own expert advisors without the uh, labor intensiveness of actually programming it yourself. So what I'll do is I'll just give you a quick run through as to uh, the functionality of EA Studio. So the first thing we do is we just jump up to the generator. And from within the generator tab, this is where we can actually um, select a few different variables to uh, build our strategy around. So for example, we can select uh, which pair we actually want to build the strategy around. Uh, we can also select the time frame and from within the strategy properties we can uh, select the, the lot sizing that we wish to use and also whether or not we want to use a stop loss and a take profit or uh, let the strategy determine whether or not um, it uses a stop loss or a take profit via some other means. Uh, we can also from within generator settings we can adjust what um, variable we want to build the strategies around. So whether we want to uh, build the strategies around looking for the best net balance or the best sharp ratio or profit factor. We can also uh, select how much of the test is in sample and how much of it is out of sample. So if we just run with 20% out of sample and then all we need to do from there is press start. And what the EA Studio will start doing from here is generating strategies based on the variables that we've selected. So far we haven't selected many variables, so it's going to generate a lot of different strategies that use a lot of different rules. Uh, there is a collection um, area for the EA Studio where it stores all the strategies it finds. It has a maximum of 100 um, uh, strategies to, to store which you can access from up here. So we're at 97 now and we've just hit 100. Okay, so from that point, what we could do is we can then go to the collection tab and this is where all the strategies that the um, EA Studio has just generated. So as you can see here, the, the green shaded area represents uh, the 20% out of sample that we selected earlier. And at this point, we don't really know how any of these strategies work. Um, they've just been just been generated by the studio at this point. We can look into each of them um, a little later down the line. But um, with the, the uh, results, you can sort the results uh, by any number of variables. So if you wish to, obviously the, the strategies have been uh, defined around uh, the best profit factor and then within that you can then arrange them however you like so if we look if we arrange by um, uh, net balance for example it will then sort by the with the best net balance at the top so it's really at that point just a matter of scrolling through the strategies and finding one that you wish to explore a little further. So this one here, for example, we could see um, quite a good return to drawdown. Uh, it's max drawdown of 30.6 might be a little bit high. However, we can optimize a little later on if we need to. So if we just uh, have a look at some of these others, once again, doesn't look too bad. We've got quite a high drawdown there. Uh, we'd ideally like something with a slightly lower, slightly lower drawdown. So this one here doesn't look too bad, um, and it, this is purely just uh, an example. So uh, if we just click on that one, we'll just look into this one a little bit further. Uh, 
Okay, now this is where um, we can establish exactly how the strategy trades. So it's got quite a few entry signals. As you can see, it uses a moving average crossover. It also uses an RVI signal and commodity channel index to determine its entries. Uh, and its exits are determined by an envelope. So what you can also do is um, if you wish to add entry rules to, to this or add exit rules, you can add as many um, entry or exit rules as you like. Just bearing in mind that obviously the simpler the strategy, the better. Uh, we don't want to make the strategy too specific or try and align uh, too many planets. Otherwise, we, we then start to curve fit. And what you'll find is that although the strategy may um, backtest quite well, as soon as you introduce it to um, a live chart, uh, you, you may find that the results vary quite substantially because you have, uh, you've used too much selection bias and you've curve fitted too much. So try and keep the strategies as simple as possible. Uh, with this tab here, we can just have a look at some of the account info. So we've got an initial balance there of $10,000, and I think we were using one standard lot per trade. Uh, what we can do from there is we can optimize this strategy. I mean, what we've got is uh, we've got a drawdown here of 19.5%. Ideally, we'd like to get that down a little bit further if we can. So we could try and optimize this strategy. Obviously, we don't want to over-optimize. Otherwise, once again, we do start to use too much selection bias and curve fit a little bit too much. So as you can see here, it just gives you a bit of a summary of um, it was back tested over uh, from the 20th of the 8th, 2014, up until the 10th of the 5th, 2017. So if we just go to the up to the optimizer tab, and from within the optimizer tab, this is where we can make some adjustments to uh, the indicators that are that the, the strategy uses. Now, as you can see here, we have um, the settings for the moving average cross. We also have the RVI signal settings, commodity channel index settings, and the envelope settings. So what we can do is, if you see, this is the, the, the current value for example, for the fast moving average. And when we run the optimizer, it will actually test, um, it will test settings from a uh, two period up to a 30 period. So you can adjust this however you want. You can adjust the range over which you wish to optimize. Uh, and this is the, the um, basically the increments that it will test over this range. So we're testing from a period of two to 30 and it will test every single um, range in between or every single um, increment between this range. So it'll test three, four, five, and so on. Now, um, generally when I do this, I like to um, keep it to a maximum of 10 steps. So whatever range you're using, uh, for example, if we were to um, increase this range here to 32, I would then, so we've obviously got a, a difference there of 30. So to keep this to a maximum of 10, what I would do is increase that to three. And the reason I do that is I, I don't want to um, be too picky about um, what setting I'm going to use. So this keeps it to sort of a range, which is far more robust and sort of um, keeps us from being too selective with, um, with what particular period works best. So, uh, as with this one as well, we've got a 24 period for the slow moving. So it's going to optimize between four and 44, which is fine. So what we'll do is we'll just make that an increment of four. And we'll just go on down the line. So we're testing the RVI signal 39. It's going to test between 19 and 59. So once again, that will be four. Commodity channel index has a period of 10. Uh, it's going to test between 2 and 30. What I'll do is I'll make that 32 and we will test for every third increment. Uh, the level of minus, six, minus 67, it's going to test from minus 87 to minus 47. So what we'll do there is we will test every fourth. 
Uh, envelope period is currently 30. It's going to optimize between 10 and 50. So once again, that will be four. And the deviation of 0.37. Uh, so it's going to test between 0.17 and 0.57. So what we'll do there is make that uh, 0.4. Okay, so once all those have been uh, sorted, under the optimizer settings, you can also optimize the strategy for uh, around the best of the, or around our, any one of these variables to find um, the what particular one you're after. So if we choose to optimize for the best profit factor, that's what it'll do, or we can choose to optimize for the best net balance. Um, we were trying to get the drawdown a little lower than 19 and a half with this particular strategy. So what I'll do is I'll just select return to drawdown. And we can also once again select how much of uh, the data is in or out of sample. So we'll leave it at 20% uh, out of sample. And then it's simply a matter of if you uh, just take note of these settings because they most likely will change after we run the optimizer. So all that we need to do there is click start and it starts optimizing the strategy to find the, the best settings for these particular indicators. Okay, so that's that's run the optimizer and okay, that's actually come out a fair bit worse than um, what we would would have hoped. So that's fine. What we can do is we can simply optimize it for a different, it may have indeed found Okay, yeah, it has found the, the best return to drawdown. So the return has increased, but so has the max drawdown overall. So what we can do is we might just optimize it for another uh, another setting. We'll optimize it for net balance and see how we go. Okay, so that's completed there. And as you can see, okay, it's changed slightly. We still have quite a good uh, return to drawdown. Um, and the max drawdown hasn't changed a lot. I mean, 19.27%, it's not the end of the world. But um, ideally, we would like a little bit lower. But for this example, we'll run with that for the time being. So once we're happy, I mean, you could play around with these as much as you want. You can adjust the ranges. Just bear in mind, you don't want to get too selective with, um, with your adjustments. Uh, once we've optimized the strategy, then what we can do is then move on to uh, the Monte Carlo. Now, this is where you can essentially throw as many um, anomalies at the strategy as you want uh, in order to uh, test how robust it is and how it reacts to, to different um, random events within the market. So, uh, for example, randomized slippage. Uh, randomly skip position exit or position entry. So as you can see, it does actually select all of these. Well, not all of them, but most of them um, by default, because ideally we want to throw as much as we can at the strategy um, to, to prove how robust it is. So the more of, of um, these uh, anomalies that the strategy can handle, then we know that it's, it's, it's best prepared for whatever it may uh, come across whilst it's it is uh, it's trading. So once we've we're we're comfortable with the Monte Carlo, we can then move on to uh, introduce other markets to the strategy if we wish by heading to the multi market tab. Now at this point we've only tested it for Aussie dollar. So if we just go to add market and for example we can test it uh, across uh, the euro dollar on a one hour chart. So if we just run the test there. And we can see, okay, so the strategy doesn't perform very well uh, in back testing um, for the euro dollar, but we can test any of the other markets available. So let's test the, the Kiwi dollar. Okay, so you can see that change subtly there. Does perform better than the euro dollar, but still nowhere near as, uh, as robust as the Aussie dollar. So you can play around with that as much as you want. You can change time frames. Uh, there's really sort of no limit there. So once once you're happy with the strategy, the last thing to really do is um, the reports tab will just give you a summary of the strategy overall. So you can see the start and end dates of the back test. 
uh, and all of the statistics that we have seen previously. Uh, the indicator tab will just show you the indicators that the strategy is going to use. Uh, the balance chart and there's also a journal as well. So this is um, basically just a record of every trade that the strategy took over the back test, which you can also export. So once we're at that point, the only thing left to do is export the strategy. So to do that, we simply head back to the editor. And then from there, we just click export, choose our uh, platform, MT4, or MT5. And then we'll be able to download the strategy just like any other um, MetaTrader Expert Advisor. Okay, so that's that's been downloaded and I'll be able to uh, install that into any Expert Advisor, or sorry, any uh, MetaTrader platform that I have um, uh, and, and be able to, to test the strategy in the platform. So the good thing about this is that you can create as many strategies as you want uh, via our website. Um, you can feel free to come on and use it as much as you want, get familiar with it, see how powerful it is. Um, the only limitation to it is that, is that you can't uh, export any um, strategies without having an account. Now the account, uh, or the, the studio has uh, a couple of different licensing options available. It has a monthly subscription which uh, works out at uh, 59 euros a month or you can opt for uh, the yearly subscription which I think is around 588 euros. Uh, that's billed annually which I think equates to around uh, 49 euros per month. Now a couple of other things with the EA Studio. You can also uh, under tools you can make a few adjustments to um, basically the currency that you're testing in, also the initial deposit, and also your leverage as well. Uh, you could also choose to uh, include or exclude um, any of the available indicators. So if you, for example, don't wish to include any MACD indicators in either your entry or exit rules, then you can simply deselect those and any strategy using those indicators will uh, not be generated. You can also import data as well. So if you'd want to uh, import uh, price history for a particular uh, particular currency pair, you can do that up to 200,000 bars. So as you can see, and I'm sure you'll agree, uh, an extremely versatile and powerful tool. Uh, as I mentioned before, it is available uh, via our website, valatrader.com free to use to generate as many strategies as you'd like. Uh, the only restriction being that you do need a license uh, in order to export uh, any any generated strategies uh, to uh, your MetaTrader platforms. Once you have a license, you can use it as much as you want to generate and export as many strategies as you like. So that's just about it for this video, guys. I realize this is really uh, just touched on um, the the functionality of uh, EA Studio. There's only so much I could cover in this video. However, if you uh, do have any questions uh, as to the functionality of it, uh, please uh, leave your questions below the video and I will do my best to uh, get back to you when I can. Uh, aside from that, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, please ensure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with any future video releases. Um, and you can also stay up to date by subscribing via our website, valatrader.com. That's V-A-L-I trader.com. Okay, thanks guys. Trade safe and bye for now.